Yo, what's up? Monday. Quick shout out to Patriot Nation. I can't believe I'm saying it. I'm not a Pats fan, but my wife is, and a couple of my good buddies are, and I like them a whole lot more than, you know, I like making fun of the Patriots, so anyways, congrats to the Patriots fans out there, um, and just, I'm going to pack it in in a quick one, a couple minutes, but we had a string of two really nice days in Charlotte. Uh, Saturday and Sunday, Saturday especially, it's like high 60s, you know, there's this cold snap everywhere, I was just feeling super fortunate, so I took the kids out to Lake Park, which is a cool little neighborhoody spot, neighborhood town, and I just let the kids run around, there's, you know, playgrounds everywhere, there's these interconnected, like, ponds, and I'm just letting the kids run around, we're having a blast, no one was out there. So I went back Sunday and met Jesse and his little son out, you know, again, letting the kids run around, nobody out. And Lake Park is the scene of a 5K that Taylor, my nine-year-old, and I ran last spring, right? And when we finished this race, by the way, I'm like, you know, in a collapse. It was the first race I'd ever ran, really. Um, you know, competitively, I guess, outside of football in high school. So, I'm like gasping for air, you know, stretching out. Amy and the boys were there watching. And, you know, all of a sudden, I kind of gather myself and I look around and Taylor's nowhere in sight, right? Right? There were 1,300 runners at the race, never mind people watching them and family and friends and media and all the other kinds of stuff. So, long story short, Taylor was missing for about 10 minutes, and we were searching everywhere. We were looking all around. All those weird, visceral, you know, painful things that you can, you know, imagine, all that stuff is true, Right? So, this is a two-parter. Part one is, I've had some scary moments in business. You know, this last year, there was a string of some, you know, really wonky stuff. Nothing comes close to the 10 minutes that went on where I had no idea where my kid was. She ended up, she jumped back into the race and she was helping people finish. She was running with people who weren't doing so great. But man... She got scolded. It was one of those like real scary moments, right? I was pissed. I had a cop next to me. You know, she's super stoked because she's helping people. And I'm like, it doesn't work that way. I need to know what's going on. You know? So, part one is what do you guys have? You know, if you don't have kids, that's awesome. If you do, I hope you never experience that 10 minutes, but, you know, let me know if you have, but what's, what do you have going on? You know, if it is business, tell me what's going on. That's, you know, can cause that kind of like, you know, gut wrenching. Oh, I mean, I was scared guys, no kidding. And my adrenaline was through the roof for a while afterwards. The second part of that is why the heck is nobody outside running around? on a 68 degree day in Charlotte when we've, you know, there's a cold snap everywhere. I'm serious. Like I think there were two elderly people walking their dogs. I didn't see anyone in this town. So if you're from Lake Park, please hit me up. Let me know what's going on, why you're not outside. And, um, guys have a killer Monday. All right. Love y'all. See ya.